This is our old standby ring grinder. Been making it for 27 years now. And there's nothing, been nothing on the market. A lot of invitation, a lot of people, a lot of people think they, you know, think they do, but they're nowhere near. And in order to set the first ring up, you set the first ring up, you know, put it about 50 thousandths over, and then set the stop. Then from then on, all the rest of the rings repeat perfect. You just dial in, and you want to take five, dial in, take a reading. You can take a reading if you want five, okay. We have this one, I'll even set it up here at zero. Now take both hands, put your thumb on each side, put about six, eight pounds pressure going down. You just rotate it in. Now I want to take five. Now this is a little lighter on the horse bar, that's why we developed the new one. Right there, there's five thousandths. It's dead square. We only take it off one side, but you're done. Then you just go through and do the rest of them. You got a deburrum wheel over here to scrape, to deburrum. And don't be embarrassed. We may be a little bit more, but we guarantee it. And anyone you buy, I'll put it up against it. And I've never got one back. Here's our, here's our new 5950. It's got the larger DC motor. That's why it's got a bigger cabinet. And it goes from zero to 5,000. The reason why I had that made, because we get the same amount of power down at low RPM. So you got full power at 2,000, the same as what you do at 5,000. You do it just like our other one, center the ring in the turntable. Do, you know, do the first one, set it up, take a reading, and then put both thumbs on each side. And give it about that six, eight pounds pressure down. You want to take five, you just dial five, there it is. And we got a little deburring wheel over on the other side. And we've got, now the newest trick is that new Dana Molly ring. And it's a new trick oil ring. It's only 15 thousandths material. And one's got 30 thousandths between it and the other one's got 50. Well, we developed a trick way of doing those. They are so thin it, nothing, nothing else will cut them without bending them. Well, we developed a way to do it. And you come on up, take your reading. Now we use this little pot magnet here to keep the back side because they are so flimsy. And you come on up, take a reading. You want to take five. There's five. The tool steel rings, which a lot of them are using, the half a millimeter. Everything else kills them. We got boar's arm wheel, or else we got the silicon carbide. And now with the more horsepower, we can get two sets of rings out of one, out of one silicon carbide pad. And these are adjustable. They'll go in and out. They'll go in and out, so you can get three passes across it. There's what the boar's arm wheel use, but these even work very excellent. Yeah. And then we've got another model that uses the same thing that we're getting to next, and that's a six inch. And we'll go to that next. Uh, see what else want to yeah. Oh, yeah. Just feel free to give us a call on everything we do. We guarantee it. There ain't nothing on the market that does this. And I don't think there ever will be. And if you bought something, I'll put it up against anything out there. So be sure to give us a call. Now, here's our newest ring grinder, the 5950 HP. And this is set up with a six inch turntable for doing the aircraft and compressors. Now it's got all that horsepower, you drive it up, stick it in there, center it in the turntable, take a rating. You want to take five thousandths off? There's, there's five thousandths, dead straight, perfect. And if you notice here, we've got all this adjustment, so you got three times the usage of going across. And we did do, the well, reason why we did that DC motor, it makes full power. We can adjust it to the hardness of the ring and to for the proper cutting. You know, everything takes a different speed. That's why we get that beautiful cut. We don't get the heat. We can do tool steel, anything you want to do, and it don't turn blue. And it's the same model as the other, but set up for the six inch, you just move the turntable back. Now, 
here's the, the stand and we can see the difference. So give us a call. We cover all of you guys. Aircraft, compressors, anything out there. You know, give us a call. You know, like I said, a lot of people tried to copy us. You know, well, give us a call because we got dent and scratch. You know, we'll make you happy. Okay, and here's the new way of packing it. It's in a nice little case, holds everything together, and it actually just shuts down. You got a strap you can carry it with or a handle. But there it is. Just give us a call.